Rush Limbaugh's wit and wisdom has blessed the lives. Wait. Rush Limbaugh's wit and wisdom has blessed the lives of many Americans. You can hear some of that wit and wisdom here on the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. Hello, hello, hello. I know the buzz of politics is around us, but, and I will start talking every day now on the variety of topics. I'm not getting back into the political scene until the 19th of, uh, until next Monday. And, and here's why. I'm keeping track of everything, and yes, there are some things that disgust me, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Okay? Let's wait until one more week before we talk about this. And why is that? Let's talk about leaders helping people. Um, for you, those of you who don't know, I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And as a result, uh, I learned this weekend something that I'm passionate about that the church is doing, the church leadership is doing. They are putting out more uh, public relations, public affairs dialogue towards mental health awareness. And I've got to tell you this. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful. Because it shows me that if organizations, no matter how small or big, can, can work on mental, mental health awareness, then we can kiss um, stigma goodbye. We can make the st- stigma go, you know, kerplunkers. Sunk into the bottom of degeneracy where it belongs. And I don't really know any other topics except maybe leaders helping family. We need to really talk more about traditional family values and the importance of marriage. And you're probably thinking, man, Jimmy, come on. Really? But you're a single guy. You don't normally talk about marriage. I know. But there is a new love in my life that within a year or two, we plan to someday be wed. Her name is Blanca. <laughs> si, Blanca es mi corazón. Si, Blanca es mi princesa. <laughs> so, there you go. Leaders helping leaders. Growing in the fact that leaders can help leaders. Because see, here's the thing. We can sit there and talk about these issues and these things that we can do nothing about. Now, the election we can do something about. We can get out there. We can get organized. We can get involved. But, you know, really and truthfully, my show is not about all politics all the time. Because even though, even though it's important, the one thing I do know from reading Plato's Republic, it's just not all about politics. It's about practicality and everyday life. It's about really, Plato's Republic is what gave me what's known as the wisdom ideology which is further developed by me reading the scriptures. Okay? So, leaders helping leaders. Think about it. We shine the light. End of story. Non-negotiable. We shine the light. We shine it. We get that sucker going. 
Because... And this is something that you begin to need to grasp here now, okay? The best leaders are some of the best followers. The sooner you begin to grasp that, the better you're going to understand, okay? Now, I hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership Classroom. This is... Uh, Jenny saying, until next time, keep up the hope. Keep up the faith. Okay, Jesus saves and we're all going to be okay. I want you to take care and please be proactively informed. And remember this from the bottom of my heart. Jenny loves you. I really love, I really, 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 really love you. God bless you. And please have a blessed day.